Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides, Crypto Capital, or I'm sorry, Block Squawk podcast here. And uh, we are going to get started with tonight's squawk. It is now nine minutes past the hour midnight uh, here in San Antonio, Texas, Central Standard Time. And, uh, and we're going to we're going to get started. We're going to uh, run through the heat map, uh, maybe hit a brief few trending stories, and then uh, we'll discuss the uh, market capitalization, coin ranking, a couple of things. So we'll see how it's going tonight and how things have changed between now and I guess it's been about 48 hours since I came on last. Uh, so let's get started. As we're looking at Coin360.io, we can see that uh, Bitcoin is at 3,885 and 53, uh, and that's up uh, nearly two tenths of a percentage point in the last, uh, I believe it's 24 hours. Uh, so yeah, 24 hours. So uh, and everything's lightly green. Uh, Cardano, it looks like, and Quantum are especially green. And uh, and uh, Ripple and Stellar Lumens are down slightly. So that's the the brief look at the heat map. Uh, let's um, let's uh, ch uh, knock out the uh, the market cap, and then we'll jump into Crypto Panic. And I'll let you guys look at the one hour chart right there in the interim. Okay, so uh, looking at the watch list, uh, we're going to start out at 100. 100 by market cap. That's gas by the sim same symbol, GAS. GAS is trading at $3.07, and that is up 42.28% in the last 24 hours, up 51.58% in the last seven days and 24 hour traded volume was at 42.7 million approximately. And that's the format that we're going to uh, carry on with. We're gonna do a few jumps here and there through uh, the top 100, but uh, kind of buckle down and, and, and get most of the top 20 in there. And uh, once I hit those top 20, I'm gonna be going as fast as I possibly can to try and keep up. Uh, Electronium ETN coming in at 75, trading at 0 0.6 cents. That's up 3.18% in the last day, up 9% in the last week. 24-hour trade volume was 3.3 million. Gemini Dollar GUSD in at 69, trading at 1 and 2, up 0. Correction, yeah, 0 0.08 percentage points in the last day, 1.85% on the week, and 24-hour trade volume was 4.3 million. Excuse me. Uh, Bytum BTM in at 58, trading at 10 cents, up 2.45 points on the day, up 13.56 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume was 6.9 million. Verge XVG in at 53, trading at 0 0.7 cents, up 8.79 points on the day, up 14.43 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 4.8 million. Icon I. CX in at 41, trading at 32.8 cents, down 1.7 points on the day, up 1.4 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 14.3 mil. Augur REP in at 40th, trading at 14 and 16, that's down 10, yeah, uh, down, uh, correct, oh, okay, all right, just, and just changed twice on me, it was, it was a little weird. Okay, so Augur is up 0 0.04 points on the day and uh, 9.2 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 7.2 mil on Augur, guys. Uh, let's jump on up to Lisk, in at 33rd by market cap, trading at 1 in 63. That's up 14.27 points on the day, up 24.71 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 15.8 million. Quantum QTU, I'm in at 30th by market cap, trading at 2 and 54, up 17.64 points on the day, up 21.69 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume was $2 billion, guys. Dogecoin, D-O-G-E, and a 28th, trading at 0 0.2 cents, up 0 0.37 points on the day, up 1.7 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 12.6 million. Basic attention, B-A-T, in a 27th, trading at 19.5 cents. That's up 3.64 points on the day, up 2.7 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume is 14.1 million. Tezos XT, well, let's jump over Tezos. Uh, VeChain Vet in at 22, that's uh, trading at 0 0.5 cents. 0 0.5 cents, up 0 0.32 points on the day, up 14.18 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 13 million. Zcash, ZEC, and at 21st by market cap, trading at 53 and 26, up 3.28 points on the day, up 5.3. 
three two points on the week and 24-hour traded volume was 233.3 million guys and uh, we're going to jump into the top 20 now guys um so i'm gonna kind of uh get into a trot and then we'll uh break out a sprint in the top 10 here we go now, Maxi Eminent 20th trading at 5 cents, up 8.56 points on the day, up 20.14 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 31.3 million. Ethereum Classic ETC in 19th trading at 4 and 43, up 3.89 points on the day, up 0 0.92 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 204.3 million. Ontology ONT in 18th trading at 99 cents, down 0 0.7 points on the day down 0 0.8 points on the week 24 hour trade volume was 39.9 million neo by the same symbol in at 17 trading at 9 and 26 up 3.49 points on the day up 1.7 points on the week 24 trade volume 322.9 mil maker mkr in at 16 trading at 659 and 40 cents that's up 2.43 points on the day down 3.18 points on the week 24 hour trade volume was only 1.3 million dash by the same symbol dash and at 15 trading at 90 and 58 that's up 0 0.87 points on the day up 8.54 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 280.7 mil iota myota in at 14 trading at 29.9 cents that's up 3.49 points on the day up 7.19 points on the week 24 hour trade volume was 17.9 million guys monero xmr in at 13 trading at 52 and 62 that's up 0 0.94 points on the day and up 3.12 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 66.7 million bitcoin bsv and at 12, trading at 66 and 51, up 1.46 points on the day, down 2.09 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 83.4 million, and Cardano ADA. And at 11th, trading at 4.9 cents, that's up 6.75 points on the day, and up 16 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 34 Point eight million. Moving to the top 10 now, guys. Tron TRX in at 10th, trading at 2.2, uh, down 0 0.03 on the day, up 1.22 on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 148.9 mil. Tether USDT in at 9, trading at 1 and 1, down 0 0.17 on the day, up 0 0.08 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 8.1 billion, guys. Stellar XLM in at 8th uh, by market cap, trading at 10 cents, 10.6 cents. That's down 1.95 points on the day, nearly 2 percentage points for the day and uh, up a whopping 23.82 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 158.8 million binance coin bnb in its seventh trading of 15 and 18 up 2.3 on the day up 2.4 on the week 24 hour trade volume 134.7 million bitcoin cash bch in its six trading at 134 and 17 up one and a half for the day up 2.5 or about two two and a half for the week 24 hour trade volume 341.6 million eos by the same symbol in at fifth trading at three and 63 is up 0 0.5 on the day down 3.42 percentage points on the week 24 hour trade volume was one and a half billion dollars guys litecoin ltc in at fourth trading at 57 and eight centavos that's up 1.24 points on the day up 0 0.41 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 1.6 billion uh, xrp in at third trading at uh, 31 cents that's down 0 0.43 points on the day down 0 0.59 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 706.4 million ethereum eth eth in its second trading at 134 and 62 up nearly a full percentage point at 0 0.97 points for the day down two and a quarter points for the week 24 hour trade volume 4.5 billion guys and then finally beat uh, bitcoin btc in it first by market cap trading at 3926 and 78 cents that's up 0 0.4 points on the day up 0 0.17 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 10.4 billion specifically 10 billion 428 million 683,583 and uh, circulating supply uh, as always around 17 million specifically at 17 million 589,175 bitcoin out there in the world guys and uh, as we all know, not all of them have made it. Uh, market cap today for Bitcoin rests at 69 billion. Uh, that's 69 billion, 68 million, 894,392. And um, as for the like top five, you know, there has been some checkered volatility, but the spark chart looks uh, a little flat. Uh, as far as like standouts on the spark chart, like I really don't see a whole lot. Uh, there were some sharp drops on like, let's see, Maker, uh, sharp jumps on uh, VeChain earlier in the week, uh, and Tezos, uh, and definitely on Quantum and Lisk. 
uh, auger, flat, let's see, um, and gas. Uh, gas was like a checkered volatility. Uh, for those of you holding NEO, uh, you know, you get gas as a derivative from that. So uh, that's going to do it for the coin market cap data. Um, let's take a look at the news before we jump right into the charts here, guys. You see this picture? I, I my daughter was doing a, a a project at school, and they all had to pick like a like a like a famous person that did like something cool, like Martin Luther King, um, you know, uh, Michael Jackson, people like that. And so uh, she she wasn't gonna choose Michael Jackson, but she ended up doing JFK because everybody wanted to do Michael Jackson. So, uh, and when we were doing our research, we saw this, um, this uh, picture of them uh, at a race, and, uh, and I thought it was a really, really good picture of them. Classy, classy man, classy lady, classy couple, uh, you know, doing cool and classy shit. So, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the last great American presidents, if you ask me, I've, I've become jaded over, over the years, you know, you, you, you as a as a young veteran, you know, like I, I, I was always kind of very interested in politics and I paid attention to what was going on. And um, and uh, these guys, they, they all make promises that, you know, are pretty impossible to keep. And I think uh, the American people would be uh, much more pleased with them if they were just kind of honest about the way things are. And I'm looking at the uh, the the field, the emerging field. And uh, I'm just kind of uh, disappointed. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say uh, about that. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into it here. Um, I just uh, I just wish these guys would be honest about what they do. You know, I'm nobody's saying it's not a hard job. Uh, but um, there are some, some assholes out there in the world. I will just leave it at that. So let's take a look real quick at... Uh, the trending stories here. So uh, these are the trending stories in the uh, cryptoverse over like the last day or so. So let's take a quick look. Um, and all of these are syndicated uh, through various sources and on Crypto Panic. So that's why I'm talking about that. Let, well, let's take a look. Let's do this. Let's take a look at, at the most recent story, the last few minutes. See if anything stands out. Let me see. A magic bullet for Venezuela's economic woes. It ain't Bitcoin. That's according to the uh, Invest in Bitcoin, or I'm sorry, Invest in Blockchain.com website. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're talking about the Petro or something. I'm not going to get into it right now. Does anybody have Petro? Does anybody own Petro? I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can. We're we're not supposed to buy Petro. I think Trump passed something about Petro and our Americans buying Petro. Um, and for those of you who don't know, the initiated among uninitiated amongst us, Petro is like uh, Venezuela's uh, petroleum-backed cryptocurrency. Let's see. Founder of hacked Bitcoin exchange Mt. Gox, Mark Carpella, sentenced to over two years wow i mean i i feel bad for the guy he wasn't uh he wasn't prepared for what he engaged in and uh and it was just a new new environment so i i, I kind of feel bad for him let's see uh yeah there's a lot of stuff on mark carpellis um charlie lee uh founder of litecoin uh, said people deleting Coinbase don't actually use it. Yeah, yeah, I can I can imagine there's probably a lot of folks out there that will go and and download the Coinbase app and and don't use it. There must have been something in the news recently about you know a lot of uh, Coinbase users coming off. Now, whether that means that they're deleting the app or deleting their account on Coinbase entirely, I don't know. But they'll be back, you know. They'll be back. Uh, I mean, for those of us, those of us who are, are intricately familiar with uh, 
or at least somewhat familiar with how the technology works once you kind of figure it out it's kind of hard to imagine a world that is not going to go in that direction like it's going to change you know kind of pisses me off when like uh people start getting nostalgic and saying oh you know it used to be this way i was talking to my buddy al earlier he was talking about how it's like people get nostalgic and they're like oh you know when i was back in my day you know you could leave your doors unlocked and nobody would steal you know your shit and it's kind of like hey you know shit changes lock your doors um and so that, those are the recent stories anyway let's jump on over to trending real quick and burn through some of these uh so uh, five hours ago from oh we we covered that one six hours ago from cointelegraph.com cboe will not list bitcoin futures in march uh cities needed to assess crypto derivatives or sites um that's weird oh sites oh they're citing that they need to assess crypto derivatives i get it Well, I mean, is that like the new set of futures coming out? Like, I don't know. It's a little weird. I wonder if that's going to have an impact on the price. That's interesting. Uh, eight hours ago from CryptoNinjas.net. Well, you know, like sometimes, uh, you know, the CBOE will sneeze. And it sounds like they sneezed and said Bitcoin when they sneezed and then you know, ripples travel across the crypto market. And then other times, you know, like an ETF get canceled or something like that and then nothing. So it's it's kind of hard to gauge. I don't think I could ever be um, a, uh, I don't think I could ever trade the news. It's just, I mean, I guess you could as long as you're using support and resistance and uh, stop losses and managing your risk and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I guess I'm not familiar enough with that aspect of it yet. Uh, let's see. 11 hours ago, quantum surge is 24%. Oh, that's what that was about. I was looking at it in the, in the coin market cap data. I was like, that's a little high. Uh, quantum surge is 24 hours after announcement relating to Apple pay and Samsung pay. I think it was quantum anyway stellar lumens overtakes binance coin uh, to be honest i, I kind of wish stellar would overtake ripple i don't know how many uh hate comments i'm gonna get for saying that but let's see uh 15 hours ago social security is a ponzi scheme uh it's permitted only because the federal government runs it that's uh from eric Voorhees. eric Voorhees, he's like a like a bitcoin blogger um journalist he's got some interesting views 17 hours ago from crypto globe the world's first nasdaq powered full stack cryptocurrency ecosystem to go live in h1 2019 tron decentralized app dap transaction volume surpasses eos while TRX and BTT enjoy listings on more exchanges. I like Tron. I know there's a lot of Tron haters out there. Let's see. And uh, uh, lastly, let's see. 18 hours ago, breaking Tether silently updates its terms. USDT may not be 100% backed by fiat. A big surprise there. Um, Tether never had transparency, guys. So... Um, like if you're gonna trade on, well, if I'm gonna trade on on Binance, I'm not using Tether. I'm using Bitcoin as my base currency. I'd rather do it that way. So uh, let's take a, a look at the chart. Let's kind of like zoom out, get the big picture first. So uh, we did this yesterday. We're all familiar with 20, 2018, everybody. Yes. Okay. Moving on. Um, so after that big drop, we may have like, we, we may have pushed it. I mean, we're down here by like, uh, 3,200, 3,100, uh, made a recovery. Everybody got all excited. Cause I mean, we were sweating here back in November. Yeah. November. 
Uh, so, but we basically basically been ranging. We've been ranging somewhere between um, 3,300 and approximately like 4,200. And so that's where we've been. Uh, and this is all old information, of course, guys. So, but like back in February, we started kind of like uh, forming a series of like bull flags, platforms, rectangles, however you want to classify it. It was starting to look like higher highs and higher lows. Uh, that got kicked to the curb. Had this huge red candle on. Wait for it. Uh, 24th of February. And uh, we've been in a tight and narrowing range. And so yesterday, or a couple days ago rather, I kind of drew this pitchfork and I was like, yeah, that, that, that works. Um, let's look at this in the hour. So I drew this beautiful looking pitchfork, kind of kind of lined up with the lines I already had up, uh, and uh, and I noticed that we had been trading in this range right here last couple of days, somewhere between thirty-eight sixty and uh, thirty-nine fifty, um, and it kind of looked like we we're gonna break out earlier today. I, I had this little kind of triangular formation forming. Um, and it looked like we we're gonna break out and there was this huge candle you see this big long wicks which point to uh, uncertainty and so uh, maybe some people were thinking that something different was gonna happen um, but we corrected we closed within that triangular formation and stayed in it and for a couple of hours a couple of hours ago it looked like we we're gonna break out and I tweeted about it I was like oh here we go you know um, but as as happened so often in Bitcoin it was basically like a fake out um, so uh, thinking about it now uh, we may run this kind of like uh, narrow trend channel up the pitchfork at least we have the pitchfork I, I don't feel totally lost um, you know, but if you uh, if you have any ideas about what the hell's going on, or you disagree with my summations here, by all means, reach out to me on Twitter. Hit me up. Uh, hashtag block squawk. Hashtag uh, Joel Benavia or at Joel Benavia this, and um, and let me know what you think. Uh, Bitcoin right now, guys, against the U.S. dollars at uh, thirty-eight sixty and three quarters. Uh, and uh, let's see what. Uh, Let's see what trading views call is on on Bitcoin. Let's narrow down the exchange. Oh, this is not gonna work. Not gonna work. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Bitcoin against the U.S. dollar on Coinbase, guys. Coinbase is calling it a buy. On the uh, on the technical indicator rating system. I wonder what the oscillators are doing. We'll look at oscillators and like Finviz and stuff like that and maybe stock twits here in a little bit. So, um, I mean, there we are. It, you know, if you look at the wicks inside this consolidation right here, um, they're relatively short compared to like uh, some other set, some other areas of consolidation. So I, I, I kind of felt like we were going to go somewhere. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, right now, we're still trading uh, beneath this line of resistance at 3869. Uh, so. I would be watching that uh, if you're going to be up late tonight, um, and uh, if you're leaning more towards like some some downside action, uh, definitely somewhere around 38.44 is where I would be looking at. Uh, but as always, this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but I'm on Twitter. Hit me up at Joel Benavides, J-O-E-L-B-E-N-A-V-I-D-E-Z. Uh, to watch the stream, uh, I'm at twitch.tv forward slash block squawk. 
uh, and you can also uh, watch my uh, past videos, historical data on YouTube by typing in Block Squawk. Usually, like, the most recent video will pop up. So, uh, haven't had any, like, uh, uber bad mistakes. I may have had, like, a, a few dull videos or whatever. Um, I don't know why I just told you guys that. Uh, headlines on uh, trading view or aggregated by trading view usually come from like FX Street and News BTC a lot of FX Street and so uh, FX Street is saying uh, Bitcoin to hit DMA 200 by August I was looking at the uh, at the SMA and um, I think the SMA is gonna be really important guys the 200 SMA is gonna be really important uh, I could be wrong about that but 200 ASMA, I'm going to be paying real close attention. It's still kind of way up there, but we've been threatening to get closer and closer. And that big drop that we had in uh, early February, or I'm sorry, I should say uh, 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 November, uh, kind of set us up to uh, approach the 200 SMA, 200 ASMA a lot sooner than I thought we would have. Um, immediately after that drop because we were so far away from from the 200 sma after that let's see crypto startup because of llc to use nasdaq's trading clearing and market surveillance technology yeah so let's uh let's pop out of here real quick and let's head on over to uh let's do finviz and maybe um maybe stock twits and and take a look at like sentiment and other stuff i don't really think i'm gonna get a whole lot from finviz i'm wondering if they're ever gonna put like a crypto i mean crypto is still tiny now let's look at the market the market is very checkered look at that guys a little bit of green a little bit of red a little bit of maroon so kind of all over the place uh, Dow right now is at uh, 25,709, nearly 710. Uh, S&P 500 right now is at uh, 2,808. So that's where we're at. Uh, let's see, where's crypto? Here we go. So, and uh, there's the Finviz heat map. Litecoin, uh, Litecoin had a, had an impressive day. Look at that, steady, uh, steady breakouts and consolidations. ETH, ETH was like uh, kind of checkered. We were we were there and then we weren't. Uh, Ripple was relatively flat. Bitcoin against the euro, uh, similar to the dollar. So uh, that's Finviz. Let's jump on over now, real quick. To what did I say? Where 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 I say we're going? Stock twits. And uh, let's head on over to uh, Bitcoin. I'm not logged in. I'll take a look at it in a little bit. Yeah, okay. What are you doing to me? All right. Well, maybe we'll do stock twits later when I'm a little more prepared. I I hadn't been on stock twits since I I do like I deleted my um my uh cookies and all that stuff. So But here we are. That's where we're resting. Bitcoin now at 38.60 and 79, and we're just kind of waiting. It's like a wait and wait and see game. Uh, I, w I almost wasn't going to do a, uh, a stream tonight or a video because I didn't think we, we needed to. Uh, but just in the event that we do break out uh, one way or the other, I wanted to make sure I got a record of it. So that's going to do it for us for tonight. It's uh, 12.38 a.m. and uh, universal time is uh, 20 minutes till 6 in the morning over in Greenwich, England. And uh, we are going to get out of here. As always, this is not financial advice, so uh, don't listen to me when it comes to trading. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Cheers.
Have a good night. Good luck trading.